Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing Gordon Freeman. I almost said Morgan Freeman, and when I googled him to get info, I, I wrote Morgan Freeman. It's so easy to confuse those two. It's like, what the hell is a black guy doing here? Anyway, <clears throat> that can be interpreted in more than one way, but never mind me. Anyway, Gordon Freeman, probably one of the most awesome game characters of all time from one of the best video games of all time. What can I say? Huge fan of war of uh, I almost a Warcraft. Fuck my life, I'm tired. Huge fan of Half Life and Half Life Two. I actually never got around to finishing Half Life Two. I need to pick it up and do that because it's embarrassing. But yeah, Half Life One, amazing game. It's like it's perfect. It's old as fuck. It's, it was released in 1998, and Half-Life 2 was released in 2004. Really old game, but just, like, inc amazingly awesome. Seriously, if you haven't played Half-Life in your life, you have to do it. Don't listen to the Counter-Strike shit. Don't, I mean, when you see Counter-Strike, at least when I see Counter-Strike, I wouldn't want to play a game that resembles Counter-Strike, but it's, it's nothing related to Counter-Strike. It's the same engine, but the story is totally worth it has some pretty iconic uh, like monsters and characters in that game so you should check it out i hopefully I, not a lot of people haven't played uh, half life so i'm addressing you the two or three probably that haven't touched it in any case gordon freeman he has never spoken a word in any game i don't know if you've noticed that but gordon freeman has never spoken he has no voice actor when the guys designed him they went for like a super like average guy look you know he, there's nothing special about him he doesn't have muscles he doesn't have a huge brain sticking out he doesn't have three arms or anything like that he's your basic doctor lab rat geek guy with like no physical superiority or anything like that you know he's just your average joe even his face you know there's nothing it's completely generic look and the reason they did that was to make the player immerse himself in the game more and that's why it, Gordon never speaks. You, you, they didn't want to create a separate identity for Gordon. You have to be Gordon when you play the game. And it works, to be honest. It's a pretty good idea. So, Gordon is a theoretical physicist. He was born in Seattle. He's always had a passion for physics. He graduated MIT with a, a PhD doctorate in theoretical physics. And he has always had like a, a passion for teleportation. So... In the height of his career, so to say, he was hired by Black Mesa Research Facility. I'm sure you've all heard of it. The place which blew up where an uh, interdimensional portal opened and a bunch of nasties came through and started tearing shit up and crapping all over the carpet. So Gordon was hired and soon after his, uh, his new beginning his new job, shit hit the fan. When Gordon started his job, he was, like, pushing a cart around and, like, pressing a button. Very menial tasks for his level of intelligence. And soon after that, everything went downhill. He had to grab his suit, his uh, hazardous environment suit, HEV, as it's called in the game, which protects him from radiation and, like, uh, explosions and sh nasty shit, even physical damage. So, body armor, classic element in a shooter. But this is not your average shooter. It's not boring mindless shooter you actually have to solve puzzles you know you have to move around those fucking head crabs are annoying as hell and awesome at the same time so you know gordon is is a fascinating character through his simplicity and the fact that he just gets thrown in the middle of all this shit you know so you don't really have the level of preparation required to deal with something like this you know you're not a superhero you're not playing as a superhero you're playing as an average guy that builds up to being a superhero so yeah, Gordon was very well received by a lot of critics. His uh, he was ranked in like a lot of tops. Uh, a lot of websites call him the best hero, best video game hero of all time, or any, something like that. This is a cool fact that I found out re reading uh, info about him. His doctoral thesis on teleportation of matter was entitled, and listen to this. Observation of Einstein Podolsky Rosen entanglement of supra, supra quantum structures by induction through nonlinear transuranic crystal of ext extremely long wavelength pulse from mode locked sorcery. Try saying that really fast. That is a fucking mouthful. More so than your mom's usual. Lolololol, etc. Um, but I can't really give a lot of other information. I mean, you basically know the story. The story is simple, but the game isn't. The game is just good. So if you haven't tried it yet, do that. Anyway, let's talk about the drawing. 
Drawing took about six and a half hours. And I swear to God, today has been such a shit day. From the moment I woke up till now, and it's like 2 a.m. And I woke up at around 12. So for about 12 hours, I've been trying to finish this drawing. But everyone keeps fucking interrupting me all the time. I get calls from my mom. I get real life shit work to do. I get uh, people I have to talk to about important stuff. It's like... A brother can't get those. I, I I was planning to finish this in half a day and just have the rest of the day off. Just chill, but no. Here I am at 2 a.m. talking about a fucking drawing. But anyway, I think it came out pretty well. I The only challenge I encountered while making this, the drawing seems rather simple. But he has so many like very smooth surfaces. And it, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge getting like all the edges straight and like perfectly rounded and getting like the highlights on the edges and getting that smooth transitions the, the the smooth gradients from one to another to show like which dark areas are which the which areas are dark and which are light so it wasn't as easy as i as i expected it to i, I used the um, i noticed that the the suit under the armor actually has a very coarse texture if you look at it so just find some pictures of him on google images so uh, I used like an 8B pencil to um, to draw the suit because it naturally is soft. So it has a, a very coarse texture on the paper. It picks up, the paper tooth picks it up really easily. So it gives it a completely different texture than, than the armor and the pencil that I use on the armor, which is a, a mechanical B hardness pencil. Other than that, I used a stylus for the hair. Came out pretty well. Stylus is a pain to use. You have to be very careful to not rip the paper. And I drew his little uh, head crab pet there on his shoulder. He's a pirate. So, you know, I had to include the head crab because it's the creature, you know, it's like same principle as a face hugger from Alien. You know, that's always going to be in people's minds once they've encountered it. So I like it. Head crab for the fucking win. All right, let's see what else. If you've ever wondered what the, the letter resem re represents, the Greek letter, it's lambda. And apparently, according to Wikipedia, it is used by scientists to denote the decay constant of radioactive elements related to the half-life of an element. So it's some, uh, you know, scientific shit. Doesn't matter. Not interesting at all. Well, it is interesting. I'm kidding. But, you know, half the people won't even remember that shit. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I like it. I think it came out pretty well. And uh, I don't really have any other observations to talk about. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate this. Oh, fuck's sake, I forgot. I am going to make um, a thread on Facebook. <clears throat> I'm going to make like a Halloween special drawing. And so go to facebook.com slash stuff. I'm going to put the link on the screen anyway. And I'm going to make a th uh, post there where I say, post your like what characteristics or what limbs or what stuff you'd like to see on a monster. I'm basically going to draw a monster made up of people's suggestions. Like, you know, put three arms on him, give him two mouths, uh, give him like, uh, you know, huge dildo shoved up his head. No, I'm not going to do that. Just an example, you know, like, uh, I don't know, a knife in it through his head or like a big gash on his chest. You know, each each one of you can contribute with an element to the drawing and in the end I'll make like a huge motherfucker distorted something a clump of like stuff for Halloween so that's my that's my project so just head on to Facebook and if you'd like to see your idea put in uh, put into uh, practice then just write there what you'd like to see on your monster so none of this uh, draw master chief crap because I don't that character is boring for me I don't find anything interesting in him so just write something interesting, and I'll pick like a list of 10 or 15 characteristics and make a monster out of them. Because I know a lot of you have been asking for like a, an original creation, so this would be a good place to start. So do that. Anyway, rate the video if you liked it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for my next ones. Bye-bye.